IWCC Vinyl Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to do a mock-up for your face mask. Um, a lot of people are downloading files from Silky Socks and they don't know how to do a, a mock-up with their own ideas, with their own images. So today I'm going to show you how to do it using Adobe Photoshop. So we're just going to open Adobe Photoshop and what we're going to do uh, it's that you have your file right here this is the file that you downloaded from Silky Socks so what we're gonna do uh, we're just gonna go and then right click and then select magic one you're gonna select the layer that you wanna do and, or work on and then just click on the background the outside is selected but as you can see this over here is not selected for in order to select that we're just gonna click on shift and then click on the area and it's gonna select inside same thing shift and click after that we have selected the background after that we're gonna do it's uh, hit delete it's gonna look like this everything is still selected so to deselect we're just gonna click command D uh, I forgot to tell you guys but I'm using a Apple computer so for Windows might be a little different so after you have selected your idea right here your face mask and then just erase the background what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the idea that you want to the Photoshop right here so this what are, what are my image that I want to put on the, the face mask as you can see it's very small I'm just gonna select all the area around the mask as close as I can let's see um, just gonna lower it a little bit right there okay and then just gonna click check mark alright so the image is on top of the, the face mask so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right click and then create clip mask there you go you can select or move your image a little bit adjust it like the way you want it by selecting over here okay so what we're gonna do is just like adjust it like the way you want it if you think that this is like sticking out too much you can just click on the mask and then click command T to adjust it okay so what we're gonna do is just gonna get it like closer to the edges right there there you go the other thing is that you don't want to leave it like the way it looks right here on the background to put a background what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer and this layer is gonna be our background so we're gonna select right here create a new fill and it just goes solid and then I'm just gonna select the color that I want let's say I want it I want it since the mass is kind of like black so I'm just gonna select like any other color let's see something like this this is fine all right so but your image disappear so in order to make it look visible what we're gonna go, we're gonna do is like drag this one all the way to the bottom and there you go because this one is gonna be your background if you don't like this color you can change it to whatever you like let's say you want it red you want any other color and also if you want it white you can do it white there you go this is all you had to do very simple okay let's say you want you don't like this idea you want to change your mind just drag this layer to the garbage and there you go you want to bring another idea or you want to create another design you can do it too so I'm just gonna go and adjust the, the high and the edges to make it look good 
and just click on the check mark right click create clipping mask there you go and this is your idea after you are done with this what you're gonna do you have your idea created your design you're gonna save it you're gonna go file save as and then over here we're gonna select JPEG you can name it whatever you want and then save it whatever you like desktop so let's say I'm gonna name it LV face mask and then just gonna save it right here it's gonna say medium doesn't matter okay so and let's save so let me show you that I was able to save it this is my image right here as you can see it okay so there you go this is my idea if you guys have any questions you can contact me at IWCC Vinyl Designs I will be happy to help you thank you for watching and don't forget to like my page and also if you want any ideas or like see the products that we are selling you can contact us on Etsy too alright good luck with your projects and be safe out there